Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Thursday. Having a little snuggle time here with the baby boo. First thing this morning. She just needs a little extra attention, apparently, and wants to snuggle with mama. Who wouldn't think that was cute? You do it one more time? I don't think she likes the string on the camera. All being good? You're being needy this morning. Yeah, you do. What are you here? that tongue guys and she's really content and <coughs> she's been sleeping hard she sticks that tongue out oh. okay yep your elbow is in my leg that's not gonna work breakfast time yummy today I am taking you guys to the Nashville State Museum as well as to the um, possibly the capital and the capital is why I have dug out this gorgeous fossil bag that a friend of mine gave me for Christmas a good family friend gave me this gorgeous fossil bag I love it um, love the red tell me you don't love that red color isn't it gorgeous um, anyways the reason that I dug it out is that I can wear it this way um, when you look at the state website for uh, what you can and can't take in the okay so you guys can see it's over this this is what I wanted to show you when you go to the state museum um they allow cameras so I'll be able to videotape for you guys which is awesome but when you go to the Capitol you're not allowed to take in backpacks and stuff like that it says really just kind of minimal stuff now here's my concern it says whew, hair everywhere it, it says that you should um, not bring in backpacks or big purses, I guess, is what they don't want you to bring in. I'm sure they're going to scan everything. And it says that I have to have a driver's license. And I have to wear a driver's license. Wear a driver's license. That would be a trick. It says I have to take a driver's license with me. Um, and going into downtown, I know that I would really rather... Um, going to do this I'd really rather have like an over-the-shoulder bag like this and this is the only one I own but I want to say thank you to Ike and Bernard for giving this to me because it's going to be perfect I can put my camera in this little side pouch right here so I'll easily be able to whip it out and show it to you guys and then I can put like my Purell and other things down in it um, it was a Christmas gift and it was a <coughs> brand new fossil bag um, but it's perfect for what I need for today and so I can just carry the very few things I need around and I can leave my big purse um, in my car in the parking garage and I'll put it in the trunk before we get there so that nobody sees me putting it in there. I usually find that that works best. Um, but yeah, we're going downtown. Hopefully we'll be able to do a capital tour. I'm not going to make any promises, guys. They do um, a tour at like every hour on the hour. So I'm hoping it's like 11-ish now. I'm hoping that I can get down there by noon and maybe tour the museum from like somewhere between maybe 12 and 1. Um, if It may take me more than an hour to go through the museum though guys because I really wanted to go for a while and I want to take my time. It may be 2 o'clock but if I can um, I'll try to take you all on a capital tour. I am a little concerned because I've heard that sometimes going through radar will erase the card. So I'm going to download everything because I did my haul this morning for you guys. I'm going to um, download all of that so I can't possibly lose it. And then just kind of gather up the few things. But I'm super excited to wear this bag. It's just so cute. So anyways, I hope you all enjoyed today's vlog. I think I'm going to really enjoy it. I have wanted to go to the State Museum for a couple years. But I've never actually taken the time to go down there and go through. Um, the last time... I I was there was um, with my school and I actually got to see the actual Emancipation Proclamation live and in person read it got to see Abraham Lincoln's actual signature where he signed on it um, and it, it was really really awesome guys um, got to see some of the uh, other documents 
they were from Georgia um, that had to do with slavery and that kind of thing and so that was really very cool it's not every day that you get to see it in fact they say they don't take it out very often um, and I believe it and I'm glad they don't because I want them to preserve it for us to have forever but um, I was really blessed because my school got chosen to go otherwise I number one I probably wouldn't even known it was in town and number two I wouldn't have had the opportunity to see it um, it was one of those really cool things so that is the only time I've gotten to go to the State Museum. <coughs> they had a ton of paintings and exhibits and all kinds of neat stuff. And I am loving the idea that I'm going to get to share that with you guys. So I'm going to download what you all see now. I'm going to put, I think I have fresh battery. I think I do. I'm going to put a new battery in here. I probably will carry this battery too just in case my batteries die. And I will see you guys there in a little bit. Gorgeous sky today, guys. Look at that. How beautiful. Okay guys, so I'm in the parking garage. I found an awesome parking spot, like right at this pole, um, where yeah, they could hit me, but hopefully they won't. Um, but found this awesome parking garage, and also, when I was pulling in, there's some kind of festival on the street, so I will see what that's all about. I may video a little, we'll see. Um, but yeah, this is where I kinda am. All right, bye. Okay, I gotta show you how you get out of this too. Go down this spiral all the way to the bottom. Crazy. Show you guys the view outside and how high up we are. Kind of see. Okay, guys, and just in case I forget where I am on my way back, we are on level eight, the blue level. There's this, which is what I came to see. There's old clay pipes. This is so sad, guys. This were neck shackles. Interesting. From 1863. You guys have got to see this dresser. Look at this piece of furniture. Seriously impressive. Look at this thing. Ornate. Look how gorgeous this painting is. <coughs> it's painted in 1973 of George Washington Lee. Love this painting, guys. This is pretty cool. This thing. Okay, guys, tell me the truth. Doesn't he look somewhat like Leonardo DiCaprio? I'm thinking yes. By the way, he's Thomas Hindeman, not Leonardo DiCaprio, but I promise you, I think he does. Coming here totally free. If you were to Nashville, I highly suggest you do it. Heaven. Guys, I don't think you guys know this, but I collect silver. Silver plate, old antique spoon looms. Look at this. It's gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Look at this stuff. 1850s. Look at this thing. This is the Henry Clay presentation urn. The detail in this thing. And this is Joseph Elston. Elliston. Oh, Elliston Pike makes sense for Nashville. Uh, this is In the Tennessee Mountains by George Chambers. And they have an old carriage here, too.
I have to remember to tell my mom that during tax season she works from kink to kink. Can't see when you go to work, can't see anything when you get off. Okay guys, this is probably my favorite place in the entire museum. Um, this is the place that when I came the first time I just knew I had to come back and see again. Look at this. I love urds. This is fantastic. Look at all these. And when you come, they have these um, guides. So it shows you who is where up on these walls. But look at these paintings. They are stunning. Tell me she is not cute in that little dress. And then on this wall again, they have like where it is, and then a full description. <coughs> so the little girl that I think is so stinking cute. It's one, two, three, four up. So one, two, three, four, twenty-seven. And it says the last letter. So cute. This is just an amazing room, guys. Yep, that is an antique vacuum cleaner, guys. Sure it is. Glad I don't have to use that nowadays. This elevator will sit on up here. We're moving. Okay, guys. So here is the Tennessee State Capitol. <clears throat> and that's what we're going to go to. Take you in there and show you the statue of this building. And if you look straight down that way, the building that you see is the National Public Library. And they actually have tables set up there on the top where all the glass is. And you can study or check out materials and sit there and read. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to head up towards the Capitol and hopefully I can figure out, guys, where this tour is supposed to be. I guess that's the main lobby. I'm going to go in and I'm going to ask. Let me see. Give you guys a different vantage point. Show you some of this. Okay guys, so this is inside of the state capitol. Yeah, it's kind of what it looks like in here. And I asked, I was allowed to video and to vlog. Um, all marble and gorgeous. And it goes way back in too. Very cool. Okay guys, part of being in a tourist town is that even though I'm a native, I can look like a tourist and get away with it. Yes!
me from here. I've just never actually, there you go. I think maybe you can see it a little bit better now. There are actually fountains down there and the kids are playing in them. Um, the state closed that for a little bit, but has reopened it. It's a pretty cool place. Let you all see it from this angle. The cupola, I'll let you all research, but the cupola is like another town's capital that Strickland also designed. I'm gonna let you guys go find that one though. I'm getting a little bit toasty out here, guys. Got on jeans. It's a little bit warm. Okay, guys, so that's it for me today. I will talk to you guys when I get home. But that's it for the downtown tour today on my vlog. I hope you guys really have enjoyed my vlog today. Um, and if all you're watching is the extra, I hope you have enjoyed the Capitol tour or the museum tour. Um, I will do some more like this. Um, if you liked it, please let, please, um, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up um, so I'll know to continue to do these things. And I will, if you watch my vlogs, I'll talk to you soon. Otherwise, I'll see y'all later. And we are, guys, back in the parking garage. Time to go home. Okay, guys, so I have one other thing I want to talk to you guys about, and that is the cost of, like, today's trip, which has entertained me fabulously all day long. And the cost of today's trip was just the parking fee because the tour of the Capitol is free, the State Museum is free, my car did not get hit. Woot woot. Um, anyways, the tour of the Capitol is free. The other is free. Um, so really, truly, parking was all the cost that I had. Sorry, guys. I need to get in the car. Give me just one second. Okay, so the cost of parking, um, which is covered parking, so even in today's heat, is not that bad. Um, so the cost was just $12, that's it. Plus my lunch, because I ate lunch out. If you were to bring your lunch and put it in the car, or put it in a cooler, or take it in a sack and eat it on the Capitol, um, your cost would be less. I just don't choose to necessarily do that. Sometimes I think it's kind of fun to eat out down here. I don't get down here as much anymore. So really, truly, for a whole day, maybe $20 total for everything. Parking for as long as I was there, and I've been there about four hours, is just 12 bucks. Not bad. Not when the other stuff really doesn't cost you anything. So um, if you plan to come maybe sometime to Nashville and to do this, just wanted to give you an idea. Um, I actually ate at Subway today, so what I ate was fairly cool, and I didn't have to worry about it being, um, or fairly cool. What I ate was fairly cheap. You can go all the way up to like Midtown Cafe, which will cost you like 30 or 40 bucks for a meal. Or you can stay in something as simple as like Subway, which you know what the cost of that is. It's not really inflated down here. They're actually pretty nice about it. But um, yeah, so that kind of gives you an idea of an outing like that. Or if you stayed in a hotel because you're out of town, you don't even have to pay for parking. It's very inexpensive. So, all right, I'll see you guys at home. Okay guys, I'm going to try to video. I'm going to have to go really slow. The bad part about parking in this garage where I parked is that is this part right here. Can y'all see? I mean, it's all straight downhill. I'm doing nothing but riding my brakes the whole way down. Kind of sucks. Alrighty guys, I'm going to show you one other thing that I think some of you all would like to see. This here, dear friends, is LP Field. This is where the Tennessee Titans play. Go team! Yeah, I don't know why I talk that way when I talk to you guys. Because I don't talk that way any other time. <laughs> oh, it's hidden behind the trees. I'm sorry, guys, and my battery is, like, seriously dying. So, there's the stadium. For what it's worth, guys, there's the Tennessee Titans Stadium. Y'all can see. There you go. And then the Juvie Center. This is the Juvenile Center for Tennessee. Okay guys, so Houston, we got a problem. I'm kind of tired, um, sat down and got still, and now I am just sleepy and ugh.